if you are on the block diagram and want to view the front panel the shortcut keyboard shortcut for that is control E and likewise if you are on the front panel and you want to navigate to the block diagram press control E control E is the toggle for going to the opposite mode from block diagram to front panel from front panel to block diagram for searching through the controls palette functions palette and the items in your project the quickest and the best way is to use control space which calls the quick drop if you are on the front panel then you can search for front panel objects if you are on the block diagram you can call search for and just place the top item just by clicking on the block diagram if you have not turned off the grid alignment from the option win window then it is by default on if you move an object select an object and move it then it snaps to the grid item grid cells to turn this feature off press control shift and then the hash uh, symbol and in that case the grid now alignment is not off and as, as you can see that the control is moving all over the place and not snapping to the grid to turn it back on it's a toggle press control shift and the hash sign the pound sign and the grid alignment is now turned on This keyboard shortcut is a toggle between the maximized and the normal window state. Press control and the forward slash and the window maximizes. Press control and forward slash and it minimizes, restores, uh, restores to its original uh, state. Maximized and restored. If you want both the front panel and the block diagram window to be visible at the same time, the keyboard shortcut that you can use is Control T. It opens them side by side, what is also called tiling. To call the navigation window, the keyboard shortcut for that is Control, Shift, and N. The navigation window appears, which you can then use to navigate through the block diagram or the front panel window. To call the properties window, either you can go to the file menu and then press this item or you can right click on the icon and select this item or you can use the quick way which is control I. Pressing control I calls the properties window from where you can set various VI properties. To view the 
history window of your VI, use the keyboard shortcut Control Y. Doing so, the history window appears and if you have stored some history, set the option for storing it, then the history is visible, otherwise it will not be.